everyone, so today I made this template which is uh, perfect for making UI sounds. So basically how does it work? You have a mini track here which is just like some random MIDI notes and the cool thing about this setup is that you have a, a Nocket device which is just a MIDI splitter. So basically every time you, you press a MIDI note, like the next one is gonna be sent to different channels in a random way. You can select uh, a forward or reverse or any way you want, but I like it to be to be random to have endless variations. So here I have five dif different instruments. Again, you can use any amount of instruments uh, as you want. And thanks to these devices here, uh, as you can see, they're uh, set to different channels. Here's three, here's four, five. And basically, every time you press the MIDI note, it will be sent randomly to one of these channels. So that every time you replay through it, and there's variations. Okay, let's see how it is in in reality. Yeah, as you can see, like from the beginning, you have pretty cool results already. And now I'll explain another main feature that this template has. The cool thing about this setup is that not only you will have endless MIDI variations for each time you play it, because everything is randomized, but every single patch that is uh, the mini channels are assigned to is randomized as well. For example, I have this patch here, which is um, a simple bell sound using operator. And I mapped the interesting parameters that I wanted to these eight macros. And thanks to these two Max for Life devices, every time I press a MIDI note on itself, it will randomize these parameters. So for example, here I have soloed the track and let's see how it sounds. And another cool thing about this template is that it's super flexible because you can use any amount of instruments that you like. In this case, I use five, but any number works. And also you, you can choose how many MIDI notes to play at the same time. Here, for example, I have six, but, and so there is a probability that they will play through each instrument every time. But if you want, you can even set up three. So they will be randomized three and again, it will even have more variations. The only downside of this setup is that it takes a bit of time because you will need to create different patches and for each patch, you need to randomize the parameters and this randomization cannot be like completely without any reasoning because otherwise we will end up with inconsistent sound. So yeah, it takes a bit of time, maybe a few hours, but once you make them all the instruments, you will end up with so many material that is, I think it pays off. Okay, so now we can analyze the instruments one by one. So you can see how I got the results that I showed at the beginning. And the first one is made in phase plant. I use a simple sine wave that is being randomized with an LFO here set to zero so that every time I press a MIDI note, it, it is randomly setting a different um, value of the pitch. And this LFO is also connected to an LFO table, which as you can see, it will play through this envelope. This envelope is connected to a frequency shifter so that every time I press a MIDI note, it will have a different envelope. So on top of the randomization here, you will have another randomization here. This is super simple. You can uh, make this patch way more complex than this to get, to get like wilder results. But for my case, it was good enough, so I kept it. And this is how it sounds. The second patch is made in Operator, it, which is a FM synth. It's just a simple bell sound and you can achieve you can achieve it with any synth, honestly. And the cool thing about it, I set this with the uh, random LFO, uh, which is, which has a bit of jitter. This is mapped to the um, fine pitch of the synth, and some delay, and some auto pan. Nothing fancy. And if you press through it, this is how it sounds. Okay, moving on, the third patch is just using Ableton Tension, which is a physically model synth. It uses different exciters, here you have also different filters, 
and again map uh, different parameters to it and this is how it sounds. The next patch is still from operator. This is how it was made. And there are an LFO filters, uh, small pitch envelopes. Again, I map the parameters here and some minor delay. And this is how it sounds. And the final instruments is just a vital patch. It's uh, super simple. It's the one of the default wavetables. I'm using uh, the random amplitudes in the spectrum morph. And here I have um, uh, just a simple envelope moving the random amplitudes. Here the LFO one is set to point cycle so that every time I press a MIDI note it goes to the next uh, point and it stops there, as you can see. It only moves with the next MIDI note. And finally the random one is set to sample and hold and 128 seconds, which is the same of setting it to zero in phase blend. Basically it changes only when you press uh, a MIDI note. And this is set to change the value of the random amplitudes. So combining this with the um, envelope three, every time I press a MIDI note, it has, I have uh, the same envelope, but a different value. So again, endless variations. This is how it sounds. So now the only thing left is to create different MIDI sequences and just record everything that is going through that. Here I also use the minor pentatonic scale, I think it's just C minor, yeah? And But it's not super useful for my setup because I don't have really like tonal sounds, I can play random notes. But if you're making something musical and you need like a specific um, UI for a, a specific scale, it's, it's, it's gonna be handy to limit the MIDI notes to a specific um, another thing that I want to show is that this template works with any type of sounds and not only like cute bell uh, super light sounds but for example here I loaded up a very fast and very simple um, modern sounding uh, scenes and just to test if this uh, worked with any type of instruments and you end up with pretty cool results again this is this was done super fast uh, nothing like really studied or anything but i just wanted to test if it uh, if it is possible to get uh, cool results with another style so the first patch is just a vital preset i didn't make it and this is how it sounds Yeah, as you can see, it's barely randomized. And yeah, the second patch, again, a face plant patch. Uh, this is done by Solid Tracks, and this is how it sounds. The next patch is just uh, an old vital patch that I made. I think maybe I randomized a few parameters, not really sure. And this is how it sounds. Uh, again, another vital patch. This is another old patch of mine. I use a point cycle again to randomize the frequency morph amount of this oscillator. And this is how it is. And finally, it's just an operator patch. It is supposed to replicate um, uh, zap sounds. It's pretty easy, nothing fancy. And this is how it sounds. Uh, with this setup, you may end up with sounds that sometimes are not super consistent with each other and maybe, I don't know, different uh, frequencies. Some frequencies are like too loud or something. So I also made a quick um, FX chain for the whole group. For example, when I play through the MIDI notes of all of them together, like this is how it is. Yeah. 
yeah, for example, the last one was way too hard and some things are a bit all over the place. So I made this quick rack, uber loud, super simple, a spectral compressor, a great free plugin. And Spiff, I use it in Delta with a 66% mix because with Delta full on, it sounds like this. It's a bit too, like, it doesn't leave a space in the low end. So like this is way more solid. Then I use uh, this uh, Max for Live from uh, Nasco, insanely cool. I don't really need it, it's just for um, different variations of sound. It's just, I think it's just some uh, filtering convolution or something like that. And OTT and Valhalla Supermassive. And this is the, how the final results sound like. If you want to do the same thing in Reaper, you can do it by using this setup. So basically here you just have a simple MIDI track and I load up this uh, device called MIDI Channel Randomizer, I leave, the, I leave it in the description. And basically this just randomizes the MIDI in the different channels. Here you select the number of channels, I have five. And this is how I set this up for each track. And then here you have a, a Hocket bus uh, where you load this Hocket machine. Again, I found this in the Reaper forum. I leave it in the description. And here you select how many instruments are using. And here you select on random. Super important to have everything randomized. And that's it. Here you load your different uh, tracks, your uh, different instruments, sorry. And that's it, then you play it and you have the same thing. And if you want to have the parameter randomization like I had in Ableton, you can do it because uh, by using this device that I found on the forum, you will be able to randomize every parameter. I'm not the biggest fan of Reaper randomization because it's not super native and everything. Also, I like to work in Vital and Faceplant a lot, so we'll do most of the randomization there. But if you like use uh, different uh, plugins and you want to randomize, randomize for example, an FX chain, I like uh, using Paranormal FX router. And with that device, you will be able to randomize all these uh, parameters. So yeah, if you have any questions, just ask me in the comment and I will be happy to reply or help you if you have anything. And thanks for watching. Thank you.